Hey, what's up, guys? Cooking up the crab here. So, not wasting any of your time, I have gone ahead and boiled the water. Let's pop the crab out. I checked earlier, it is still alive. So, we caught it yesterday. You can see the slow movements here. <laughs> Funny. All right. So, let's get our water here ready. We'll add about a teaspoon of salt there. That may have been a little too much. We'll find out. And of course we have Old Bay. So, add about two to three tablespoons of Old Bay into there. And we'll go ahead and pop our crab in. So, cook that up for about eight minutes here. Yeah, this will be the first time trying blue crab. I've had like king crab, snow, you know, the big leg crabs, but have yet to try a blue crab here. Have you guys tried them? They're sweet, delicious, you gotta try them steamed with Old Bay. Alright, is that is that what we're doing? Or I guess this is boiled with Old Bay? We got lots of ribbon fish. I was wondering if he ate any of these while he was in the cooler, but it doesn't look like he ate any of them. Ooh, this ribbon almost bit me here. Look at that. I mean, not bit me, but I almost ran my finger into it. So at least we have a timer here, so I know how long we've been cooking it. You guys that have made blue crab, how long do y'all boil them for? I heard like 8 to 10 minutes. I'm just going to do this for 10, just to be sure here. And I'll use a... Uh, Oh no, they spilled uh they spilled water. That that's uh that's Jake ran into the bowl. Oh yeah. Is that all machine? Mm-hmm. Nope. Soon. Yeah, I just got back here from work. I am super hungry. Excited to eat this. So everybody that I've seen eat blue crab. Had a little pile of Old Bay seasoning there on the side just to dip it in. Oh look, the blue, the uh, ribbon fish did get me. <laughs> they have really sharp teeth. They're like, it's like meant to go through stuff. Very easily. How do you guys like the tie? It's uh, fly fishing. 
for a rainbow trout there. That's me, too. No, I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, boiling. Snazzy. <laughs> I should have wore my, uh, I have a crab tie. Should have wore that one. <laughs> Let's see, what were we looking at here on time? It's been five minutes. About five minutes. So this is a male crab. I'll show you guys how to tell the difference. The, the easiest way to remember is like, the male is the monument, Washington Monument. Then the other is uh, the Capitol building, uh, the female's Capitol building. So, very easy way to distinguish those. And that's the, we're talking about the apron here on the underside of the crab. And I'll show you guys all that. That is boiling up nicely there. You can see it's already turned orange. It smells so good. I am ready to eat this. If you guys are enjoying the video, remember to like it for us. Next time we get out there, I'm going to uh, bring an actual crab pot. I have all the carcasses from the fish that we've cleaned. So, all the black drum, the red drum, the whiting that we caught this past summer. I've just saved them all in the freezer. So, I'm going to get a big old crab pot and we'll get our little booty, make it all legal, drop it down. And fill it up with crabs and actually do a real crab catch and cook. Man, that old bay smells so good. I'm excited. Wow, look at all this blood. Whoa. Hopefully I didn't get any on my shirt. What? I was sticking my hand in the cooler showing everybody the ribbon fish earlier. And I was like, oh, one of them bit me, kind of jokingly. It just had the mouth open, and the teeth are razor sharp. And it's just been bleeding nonstop, I guess. This is the first time it's happened. Oh, it's floating up now. Hey, what's up, Gareth? Thanks for joining us here. Oh, beautiful crab. Let me see if I can find any newspaper anywhere. Seems like the original way to eat it, right? What's everybody having for dinner tonight? This is not all I'm having here. It's only one crab. Surely it won't fill me up.
So we just hit the 10 minute mark there. Gonna wait till we hit like 10.45 and then we'll take it out. But it looks right. Got the newspaper out here. Man, that's authentic, isn't it now? All right, we've just hit time there. We grab some tongs. And we'll go ahead and pop it out here. Now, is, is this the mustard here, you guys? I wasn't really planning to try all that. Try a little piece and whatever is left on the meat, unless everybody here is raving about it. Oh, but this is, this is going to be way too hot to eat right now. I'm going to have to let it sit for a second here. And while we're waiting on it to cool down, I'll show you a couple different ways you can distinguish from a female and a male. And you don't want to keep the uh, females with eggs on them. So this is a male here. You can tell because the apron is narrow and it looks kind of like the monument. And on a female, it'll look like the Capitol building and the apron will be a lot wider here. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to be able to get meat off of the swimming legs here. That's where we're going to find the most meat on the legs. Each of these walking legs will find some meat. And then, of course, the claws here will be full of meat. And we actually have a crab cracker here. There it is. Yes, yeah, so we have a claw cracker. Not really sure what you actually call those, but we're going to go with claw cracker. Oh, and then the females will also have, so you can see here the red tips. Oops, sorry. You can see the little red tips. On the female, it'll be almost like half of the claw here that'll be red. It'll look like it's been going to the nail salon, getting her nails done. So yeah, anybody know? Is that the uh, mustard there? Do I have to eat an eyeball here? Heard there's meat there too. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can start picking off some meat. How's that angle there, you guys? I think that looks fine. We'll start here with the what? It broke without the meat. I'm kind of getting vibes here that I need to cook it a little longer. Wow, that was really good. I got the meat out of the knuckle here just to try a little piece. I mean, it seems cooked to me. Oh, 
Wow, that's really good. That's really good. But for some reason, they're not... They're not breaking off. Okay, so this one broke off with the meat there. Yeah, let's let's give it a little dunk. Get about a hundred of them and make a crab dip. Ooh, we'll have to try that as well. Dunked it in the uh, old bay. Oh yeah, you get that celery salt right away. It's the first ingredient. Ooh, so that's that's the mustard, right? Do I got to try a little piece of that? I'm a believer. So you can just, you push down at the bottom, the meat slides right up there. Oh yeah, that's great. Let's get the big old claw off here, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. It's so sweet. Wow, that's good. Let's go ahead and break this. Whoa, look at that. Oh, yes. All meat there. I'm going to go grab my dad. He needs to come and try this ASAP. Oh, yes. Hey, guys. Y'all need to... We'll all need to start bringing crab trap. And when the fish aren't biting, try and get you some of these. He stayed alive in the cooler, which was like an ice bath by the, by the time we got to cooking it. I think this is like my favorite crab that I've ever tried. It's so fresh and it's just delicious. Wow, look at the meat that was in the claw there. Different color to it and everything. Wow, that's really good. Oh, I think my sister wanted a piece too. Let's go grab everybody. Okay, everybody's camera shy. So let's go ahead and continue getting down with this crab here. So we'll pop up the apron. We want to get this other knuckle off here, the swimming. Anyways, let's just get this out. We'll put our fingers down this swimming claw, this swimming claw, and we'll break down the back here, separating it. I'll show you guys the lungs, what you don't want to eat. This one is full of, I guess that's the mustard there. I think I'm going to pass on that. 
And here's the lungs. Very, very easy to distinguish from the meat here. Lung, 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 lung. So it's all on the edges here. So we'll go ahead and pop that out with our knife. Because that is not something we want to eat. We call it lung, but it, I mean, it could be a gill. I'm not, not exactly sure here. It could be just like a fish gill. But just going to pop off. Okay, here's the face and mouth. Can break that off too and get rid of that, put it in our trash pile. And all of that's trash as well here. Look at these uh I don't know what these are. Another set of legs or antenna. This is on the apron here. Pretty cool. Looks like a pelvis almost. <laughs> oh man. I'll get to that meat inside the uh, actual body here, but this claw was calling my name. Yeah, check out the meat there. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. I already got to get back out there. Mmm, that is so, so good. All right, let's stop messing with the legs here. Let's get to the meat and our crab. So we can go ahead and break this in half here. This piece we can squeeze in our hand until we feel it break. And then we'll divide it in half, just like that. Boom. All that is meat there. Woo! Look at that. All meat. Yes, sir, they are some big ends. Making you hungry? I am sorry. Look, look, this right here is just a tease, too. We only got one, and I've just discovered, you know, this is like gold here. Oh, man. Oh yeah, that is good. And I'm not lying when I say this is probably the uh, my most favorite crab that I've enjoyed here, that I've ever tried so far. Oh yes, that is delicious here. Here's the other side. So generally you would break off all of your claws before you split the body like I did. But I don't want this to be too long here.
just wanted to show you guys how to get to pretty much every bit of meat there. Let's see, do I need to do I need to try an eyeball here? This the what is that? It's like guts or something right there. Guts, that's probably definitely what they call mustard, yellow stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry, David. I uh, I just got back and I did not want to uh, get dressed down real qu uh So yeah, that's how it all happened. <laughs> I was too hungry. Half that and half um, I had the the fish tie on, so I wanted to show you guys the fish tie. <laughs> Wow. Surprisingly, keeping all the clothes clean here. Hey, what's up? How you doing, click clack? Mm. I'm going to have to... Uh, actively target these now. I love how you can just squeeze the bottom there and the meat comes sliding out. Mm. Oh, so the video I saw was po pointing out how you can tell if the crab is getting ready to molt and that's when it's got some skin right here. So this skin will become the new shell. So they were saying this was like as fresh as you could get it pretty much because it was getting ready to molt. There's some meat down in there, it looks like. Get this mouth out. Or never mind, I guess that's not me. What, wait, is it? No. I don't know what that is. That edible? Should I be eating that? Thank you, David. Oh, Topsail, you will love it down there. I love going down to Topsail. Where are you going to be doing your fishing? Like sea view. So just split this guy in half here. That's probably the one to push mustard all over my shirt. No, it didn't. Well, all right there. I think I said this was the mouth. No, no. I broke some off earlier and said it was the mouth, but it definitely wasn't because I just broke the mouth off just now. What do you, you guys ever eat the eye? Is that, do I gotta eat that? Oh, nice. Everybody's heading to Topsail. It is a nice place to be, I love it. Oh, there should still be some meat in here. I'm saving half here for my sister. She loves crabs as well. Sorry about that. Lost you all. See what I missed here. Hey, what's up, Matt? Oh, dude. Best crab that I've had so far. I've tried king. I've tried snow. And blue crab so far is my favorite crab to try or uh, to eat now. And I've saved all this for my sister, so... She'll be able to eat. Oh, oh, I ate the swimming claw from her. But there's all meat in here, all meat on the claw. And 
inside of these legs here. So, hope you all enjoyed the stream. If you did, give us a like here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.